This week on Command N, the tech story behind being Elmo, how to supercharge your gadgets and name that leaf. Welcome to episode 239 of Command N. I'm Amber. It's a beautiful day here in Toronto and we have a great show in store for you today and many great plans on Command N in the weeks to come. For now, let's get started with the tech story behind the documentary, Being Elmo. He has been so unbelievably huge. Both Bill and myself grew up before Elmo was really a character on Sesame Street, so neither of us were really familiar with him other than what, if you're a breathing human being, you're aware of Elmo. Um, so to me personally, Elmo was like Barney or one of these kind of irritating children's characters. This is for you, Dorothy. Birthday, 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 birthday. And in fact, Elmo was a little bit of a, like a traitor. I, well, not a traitor, but like I grew up with a totally different Sesame Street. And then there was some new kid I knew called Elmo who I had never seen. And it was like, what are they talking about? Kermit, you know, Kermit the Frog. It's not that easy being green. It was only while making the film, while seeing Kevin perform Elmo and learning about both how generous Kevin is and how... <laughs> I mean, hilarious is and touching Elmo is works. that I really, I was converted. And so now I'm a big Elmo fan, but before I started working on the film, no. <laughs> That's the hot dog. What type of software did you use throughout the process in terms of editing? So you know our audience is into that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. We um, uh, used Final Cut for, uh, as the editing software. Um, we used a little bit of motion, um, but event which eventually just to mock up some animations, and those were then done by professionals. We used a ton of Vimeo <laughs> to share the, the, the videos with each other. Um, we used iChat and both voice and actually we did some screen sharing. We tried to, you can actually do screen sharing right out of Final Cut. It's almost like a, a virtual team putting this documentary together. Yeah. We Honestly, we could have been in separate cities or on, in different parts of the globe, even though Phil and I both live in Brooklyn and we were making the movie on our laptops in our little apartments, yeah. we, we didn't see each other for months and, and we didn't see Connie for months, but we were all, always constantly communicating, constantly looking at things and you know, working it out. But yeah, we were essentially working remotely. I tell you, one, one of the just one of the funny things was our uh, post-production supervisor, Constantine Limpiris, came on at the end, and so he was in Manhattan, and our assistant was way out in Brooklyn, and they had to call each other so often that eventually Constantine they just connected by Skype, and Constantine just left the connection on. Now Constantine is also working out of his house with his wife and uh, 11-year-old daughter. And eventually he would forget that Roger was still on the Skype and Hilarious. he would say that they'd have an argument and suddenly Roger would chime in with an opinion. That Kevin truly is this historical character as far as being a puppeteer and like yes. it must have been amazing just to have access to see how he works and you know it's like getting close to Jim Henson you know uh, decades ago you know it's, it's going to be something you'll probably remember forever I would guess. Yeah. It's true it's something that I, I have to remind myself of because I mean, we've gotten to know him personally, and of course, he's every bit as kind and generous, and you know, he's what you see on screen. So he's, where, he's so down to earth. We we kept my mom. My mom would put the clothes at clothesline at, and that was where I had my first puppet show. I would throw the blanket over this, and then my mom's daycare kids would come out here and watch watch me do the show. You kind of forget how much of a global phenomenon he's created and how also how big he is how important he is to puppeteering he basically he's an executive producer of Sesame Street and a director and he's really as you see in the film kind of taken over for Jim Henson and so yeah I mean it's it is somewhat of an honor to to work on it and to get to know him so you know I, if anybody else has a chance to make uh, you know, a movie about a famous puppeteer, I, I highly recommend it. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, I'm Jeff MacArthur, and for this Hot Stuff segment, I'm going to review Griffin's PowerDog Dual, which lets you simultaneously charge both an iPad and an iPhone or iPod, something I've had a need for since the original iPad came out, so it's super handy. The triangular-shaped charging platform here includes backrest to support your devices when they're plugged in, so it doesn't feel like you're going to push them off the dock if you have to interact with the screen, and it leaves the displays and the speakers unobstructed so you can still see and hear what's going on with your device, so if you want to just listen to some music or something, you're going to basically hear what you'd hear with the iPad undocked. And obviously the same is true with the iPhone there. It lets you access all the external controls. It's very handy that way that you can actually use it on the dock. And uh, I keep it in my kitchen. So if you're, you're using it for a recipe or using it for music or whatever else, it's right there where you need it. Now the power dock plugs into the wall with an included adapter that provides the full 10 watt charging for your iPad, which is essential because it charges way too slow with less than that. And five watts for your iPhone or your iPod. Now, there's no cable for syncing here, so you'll still have to do that on a computer. But I do a lot more charging than I do syncing, so that's not really an issue for me. And I also love the little tray on the front here. Basically, you walk into the house, and I take out my iPhone and dock it, and then you know, throw my keys and change or whatever in there, and it just keeps my counter tidy and keeps everything in, in the same place. Griffin even includes four international plug adapters, so it's good for while you're on the road, too. The power dock fits both the iPad 1 and 2, I've got the two hooked up here, as well as any iPhone or modern iPod, and it costs just $59.99. That's it for this week. I'm Jeff MacArthur. Enjoy. For this week's social media tip, here's an innovative campaign from everyone's favorite ice cream company. Ben & Jerry's has created a site online where people can donate their unused characters on Twitter. It's a really neat idea. So you go to the website and you put in what you plan to tweet and then what the service does is it attaches a link and information about World Fair Trade Day onto the end of your tweet. So you can raise awareness about fair trade. Not only can you do this from their website, but you can also use a plugin within your browser and do the same thing. So a really creative idea to get more people knowing about the importance of fair trade and also to promote the Ben & Jerry's brand. My web pick this week is an app called Leaf Snap that allows you to take a photo with your iPhone of any leaf that you find in your backyard or anywhere else where you're roaming around and it will tell you what species that leaf is. Now currently the database only includes leaves that are found in the northeastern part of the U.S. However, they do plan to roll out so it will categorize leaves that are available all throughout North America. It is a free app and the first of many from this group that will focus on nature. That's all for today's show. As always, you can find us online at commandn.tv. We'd love to get all of your feedback and comments. If you have an idea for a web pick or an app pick, just leave us a message with the link, or even better, create your own video, and we'll include it in the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This is the song, la 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 la, Elmo song. La 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo song. I like it. La la la, la 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 la. To think he wrote this alone. La la la, 